It's them. I'll save you guys. I thought I just saw Lloyd. Yes, he disappeared. What could... A trap? Even if it is, remaining here indefinitely... Would not be particularly meaningful. Let us search for Lloyd. I'm so glad you two are safe. Alicia... Impossible. Please wait. I'll take you to Lloyd. It's an illusion. Alicia is... dead. Yes. She was murdered. Yes. Then what am I, Prisea? Even though I'm right here, breathing, my very own sister insists that I'm dead? I... It's true that I was murdered by Regal, but here I am, alive, in front of you. Isn't that enough? It's only an illusion. Be gone! <gasps> Prisea! We... don't know for certain it's an illusion. Prisea, you believe me, don't you? Thank you. You. Stop. If you don't stop. Regal, I can't believe you tried to kill me. I can't believe it. Silence, Phantom. Prisea, move. If you want to kill Alicia, you must face me first. Prepare yourself. Stop it. Both of you. Lloyd's voice. Is this an illusion as well? But there's blood. I feel an evil presence from that blood. Be careful, Prisea. What's going on? What is real? It doesn't matter. Just settle down. Why are you fighting each other? You're supposed to be friends. Lloyd. You... aren't an illusion? Why did you stop attacking? You hate the one who murdered me, don't you? But... And Regal, why won't you just let yourself be killed? You've always felt guilty about killing me. Uh. Here's your chance to end it all. Yes, it's for the best. If you are killed, you will no longer feel guilt. If you kill him, you will have your revenge. Crimes must be punished. Both of you! Get a hold of yourselves! Don't confuse who you should be fighting! Dying won't settle anything! Killing won't solve anything. That is merely logic. People are not moved by logic. If the one you love is killed, you hate the murderer. And murderers must be punished. But if you keep killing people like that, it'll only spawn new hate and new revenge. Besides, you're just running away if you die. You'll forget the murder and the pain of that crime. Spawn new hate. Running away from my crime. But what about my feelings? You murdered me. It is true that Alicia died. But I know she doesn't want things to end like this. What you're both doing is selfish. You're... the real Lloyd. And that Alicia is a fake. Alicia wouldn't say things like that. Are you... going to kill me? Stop deceiving my friends! Uh, I came to get you guys. I'm sorry. I... lost the will to atone for my crimes by taking comfort in the feeling of being punished. Death is not punishment. Punishment is living with one's crime, and working to atone for it. I closed off my heart, and turned away from people who were trying to atone for their crimes. Because it was easier to hate, than to forgive. There are so many things you can do before you die. And I don't think everything has to be forgiven. But no matter how painful things may be, you just can't dwell on the past. You're right. I will stop allowing myself to be trapped in the past. One cannot seek a new world while dragging the past along. And thus you forget the past, the countless lives that were lost, and the pain of those that suffered. Crimes must be met with punishment. What's that? A knife. There are nicks all over the blade. Maybe it's a symbol of your past. Let us think of it that way. Yes so that we may never fight amongst ourselves again. The final quest item is ours, the chipped dagger. And thus, we can activate 
the final battle. Now, the reason that I keep Sheena in these fights is because she's kind of like this, the objective character, s similar to Lloyd, how she wasn't really trapped by anything, she was just trapped by Mythos, and we came to save her, so that's kind of why I'm keeping her. I'm not, you know... It's logical, so stop judging me. All life bears sin. When it is born, you, will you face your sin? Yes. Then sinners be judged. And here we go. We are going to fight the judged. You're in real world of hurt. I remember this one specifically because its name is just so awesome. This is actually this should actually be a very very fast fight with four fighters just all going at it at once. Uh, this should not be difficult in the slightest. And I know Regal is sitting back there waiting to heal. There we go. Evil doesn't stand a chance. Woo! Sheena's back, baby. Light fell into darkness along with sin. You bury your sin and are the new light. The power of darkness is new now ended. Basically, we've defeated all of the optional bosses, and we're awesome. Hooray! All right. Is there anything down here? No. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Let's head back to the main area and head off to the major, awesome, super teleport thing. Now, I, when I said we are pretty much down to the wire with the ending here, basically we got we uh, the Darius Carlin area was not exactly a dungeon. I don't like to call it a dungeon because eh, wait, pitiful Mythos. Mythos is a pitiful person. Why do you say that all of a sudden? Even though he led all those half-elves, he no longer has any friends left that he actually trusted. Yeah, I think loneliness can corrupt one's decision. Leading to arbitrary judgment and tyranny. Leading to further lo loneliness. Let's make sure we value our friends. Yes, okay. That's nice! What is this? This is... This is... the Darius Emblem. Darius Emblem? It's a seal that blocks the path to Mythos's castle. Although I didn't know where it was. Then with this... The trap should be deactivated. Let's keep going. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, we just randomly find the Darius Emblem on the floor. <laughs> but yeah, now we can activate this teleporter. Guess what, guys? Welcome to... Hold on a second, wait for it. Yeah, another random pointless teleporter. Welcome to the final dungeon of the game. And by final, I basically mean... Welcome to a very disappointing dungeon. You basically fight that dragon, open the door, and then you can go fight the final boss. But, we are not doing that. What we are doing, though is we are going to go through this dungeon normally because if you go through the dungeon all the way then you can uh, access this teleporter to make you go back to Tetheala which is what we're gonna wanna do because this is how evil the game designers are the second you open that door tons of side quests open up for you to do to get some of the best items and best titles in the game I am not joking. The game designers were evil in doing that, but it's true. So what we're going to do is go through this dungeon normally, we're going to fight that dragon, open the door, and you have to watch the cinematic after opening the door, then go back and do side quests. So that's what we're going to do when we start off the next episode, alright? So I'll see you guys then.